Hi guys, in this video, we're going to check out 10 best places to live in San Francisco. It's a crown jewel of the West Coast. San Francisco has long been known for its rolling hills, stunning architecture, and self-starter energy, as well as its diverse restaurants. Known to Northern Californians as the city, San Francisco is a bustling metropolitan area filled with eclectic neighborhoods. Want to live in San Francisco? Its incredible arts and culture, great job market, and wide range of outdoor recreation make it a very desirable place for singles and families to call home. If you're moving to San Francisco with your family, the Bay Area has plenty of family-friendly neighborhoods offering safe streets, affordable housing, and great schools. Fortunately, we'll walk you through the 10 best places in San Francisco so you can imagine what life would be like there. Let's explore now, but first don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Richmond District The district features a wide variety of parks and green spaces located in the northwestern part of the city. It is quiet and serene, so it is a peaceful place to raise a family. There are four sub-neighborhoods in the district, Outer, Inner, Central Richmond, and Lake Street. Due to its merchant corridor and diverse ethnicity, the first neighborhood is regarded as the most desirable place to live. In addition to the Chinese culture, there are deep Russian and Irish roots as well. It has a beautiful natural environment, a high number of jobs, a low unemployment rate of 2.8%, top-notch amenities, several schools and libraries, and nice recreational facilities. There are 60,000 people living here, and the median rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Central Richmond is $2,373, while the median rent in Inner Richmond is $950. Expensive housing as the median home price is ranging from $749,000 to $1.7 million. North Beach There are a large number of Italian Americans living in North Beach, often referred to as Little Italy. It's a great place to live if you work in downtown and want to be close to the financial district. This area is also famous for its nightlife, with eccentric nightclubs and craft cocktail bars all around you. It's also known for its authentic Italian pizzerias, trattorias, coffee shops, and gelato. North Beach is also regarded as one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city because of its local history and Italian heritage. Aside from the abundance of green spaces and parks, Living here means being surrounded by an abundance of activities for families. It is a densely populated area with many residents renting their homes. The median home value in the area is $1.1 million, and the median rent is $1,478. Presidio Heights If you are looking for secluded San Francisco neighborhood, Presidio Heights is worth checking out. It's an area where Silicon Valley millionaires live next to ordinary people. Although it is located near the city's alluring trails and parks, the neighborhood itself is a paradise for families who enjoy eating out and want to maintain a peaceful lifestyle. Living here requires hard work, but you can admire the stunning views of the coast. Home values in this area averages around $2 million on a median basis. The average rent is $2,174 for a simple apartment with a single bedroom. There are many recreation opportunities in this area. It is also a quick commute of about 30 minutes. It is safe and has excellent facilities. Russian Hill if you're looking for a quieter area away from the crowds, Russian Hill might just be the place for you. This neighborhood is true to its name. The undulating landscape makes stairs a common sight throughout the area. It is one of the 44 hills in San Francisco, and it is home to the high-end upscale neighborhood of Russian Hill. 
named after settlers who discovered a Russian cemetery on top of the hill during the gold rush. It has a rich history that locals love to explore. In addition to being one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city, be sure to stop by Lombard Street, which is also known as the crookedest street in the world. Russian Hill is a perfect mix of trendy and classic hotspots with a variety of shops, restaurants, and bars. Also, there are numerous pedestrian walkways and open green spaces that provide a great workout or a nice spot to relax. The median home price in this neighborhood is around $1.4 million, and the median rent is $2,140. Marina District If you want to live close to the ocean, the Marina District is the perfect place to be. If you want a front row view of the Golden Gate Bridge, head to the Marina Green, where you can run and bike. This classic bridge stuns every time you see it at sunrise, no matter how long you live in San Francisco. It's a rent-friendly and popular with millennials who want to settle down and raise their families. This Bay Area neighborhood gets its coastal vibe from its proximity to the water and wave organ, a wave-activated musical sculpture, making it a great place for active families to spend time outdoors. Street Anne Preschool and Marina Middle School are just a few of the educational opportunities that attract families to this area, including its diverse and trendy restaurants. The median home price is $1.4 million, while the median rent is $2,140. The crime rate in this neighborhood is less than 32% that of San Francisco's neighborhoods. Seacliff With its northwestern location and breathtaking ocean views, this neighborhood is known for its spacious houses and affordable housing costs and rent. Many parks have been designed here by landscape architects. This is a peaceful district with numerous impressive mansions and wealthy neighbors. There are a few pros to this place. It is private and discreet, safe, walkable, has an unemployment rate of 2.5%, and is densely populated, with only about 1,500 residents. The median rent is $2,536 per month which is significantly higher than the average rent in San Francisco. However, the schools are excellent, not public ones though, rated A plus by niche. Overall property costs are also staggering. The median home value is $2 million, and most residents own their homes. There are many local favorites in and around. The Golden Gate Bridge, which opened in 1937, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, the Golden Gate Park, which includes gardens, trails, and more. Sunset District This neighborhood is one of the largest with an area of 5,709 square miles. Its western border is the Pacific Coast, while its borders are not clearly defined. Due to the numerous avenues, it is sometimes referred to as the Avenues. There are three sub-neighborhoods in the district, Central Sunset, Outer Sunset, and Inner Sunset. Sunset District is an expansive neighborhood with a number of premier educational institutes that have an outstanding reputation. There are a variety of local businesses in the area, with a population of 85,252 people. There is a low unemployment rate of 2.9%. The median home prices are $1.6 million, and the average rental price is $2,423. There are some cons to living here as well. It is often foggy and chilly here. Some of the local favorites include Golden Gate Park, a magnificent green area with walking tracks and more, Sunset Reservoir, surrounded by greenery, Pine Lake, a small lake within the park, and numerous restaurants and cafes. Bernal Heights Family members who seek a quiet, walkable neighborhood with a small town feel and plenty of green spaces should consider Bernal Heights. Because of its large community atmosphere, 
it has earned the nickname Maternal Heights. Residents of this family-friendly neighborhood shop at the Alamany Certified Farmers Market, where local vendors sell organic produce and homemade gifts. There are spacious bike lanes, lights, and more safety features along the Alamany Bikeway. The housing options in Bernal Heights cater to a wide range of family sizes and needs, from Victorian condos to modern single-family homes, making it one of the best neighborhoods in San Francisco to buy a home. There is a median home price of $866,685 and a median rent of $1,970 per month. It is safer than 53% of San Francisco neighborhoods. Noe Valley. Located in the center of the city, the neighborhood is named after a Mexican mayor who once owned it as a rancho. From a working class area, it has gradually turned into an upscale neighborhood popular with professionals. People enjoy strolling while admiring the warm, sunny microclimate created by the Twin Peaks adjacent to it. There are small boutiques and cafes along the main street. With its eclectic social scene makes it an upscale, artsy neighborhood perfect for millennials. In Noe Valley, many of the homes were built before the early 20th century, including some of the country's highest concentrations of row houses, making it a unique urban community. In addition to being a safe and supportive neighborhood, Noe Valley is also home to a number of young families, making it a family friendly. There's also a low unemployment rate of 3.8%, with multiple job opportunities and excellent amenities. Housing costs are expensive, with a median home price of $1.7 million. The area is densely populated. Overall, rent costs are almost twice than the national average. The average rent of a one-bedroom apartment is $2,563 and the educational quality is quite good. Pacific Heights, located within the central part of the city, with an elevation of 380 feet, Pacific Heights is the best neighborhood for quality of life. With unbelievable views of the coast, bridge, island, and the Presidio, it's no wonder it's known as the Gold Coast, which is one of the most expensive neighborhood in the U.S. In addition, there are cheaper areas for living, such as the Western Edition. Nonetheless, the district is always described as chic, elite, and the most expensive in the city. There are several schools, including the Waldorf School, for boys only, and the Academy of Thought and Industry. All of the educational institutions are ranked A or A plus by Niche.com. There is no better place to get a panoramic view of the Golden Gate Bridge than Pacific Heights. The Victorian-style homes have made Pacific Heights one of San Francisco's most prestigious and wealthiest neighborhood, attracting many families to this residential neighborhood. One of the best things about Pacific Heights is its low crime rate, and a low unemployment rate of 2.8%. There are lively streets, picturesque parks, and famous homes. The median home price is $2.1 million, and the rent is also exorbitantly high at $3,195. The area is densely populated, with 21,918 people live here. Living on a budget is hard if you make an average income. At the end, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon, share the video, also leave your valuable comment below. See you in the next one.